Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Shalom to the elect, Bashim Rechak Wadash. My name is Yikawa from Plain Tapers Camp. Some information on Esau Edom, the Renaissance art, and the modern day Israelis. We believe they are of the seed of Esau Edom. Right? There was a conversion during the Khazar Empire when part of them became the Edomites. Part of them became and started keeping the laws, circumcising their children, and other ones became uh, Muslim. Now you can look that, that history up. That did happen. And people, I say that are, I guess, uh, Christian or consider themselves to be you no know, Israeli or Jewish they don't believe they're of that stock but that that's an event that actually happened you know from the Khazaria Khazarian Empire where you had uh, those people that were there they were Caucasian I mean meaning they were pale flesh people all right they were actually really uh deplorable disgusting people because the Khazars all right the Arabs uh have different accounts of how they lived like they they were uh they traded they traded with them and they fought wars with them so i'm gonna go i'm gonna do this so you see the picture here i have have here cedric borgia cedric borgia jesus all right so this is the the current image that they use this is the same person all right they do, they used a uh, treasure treasure borgia image to be the new face of the lord because right, before this renaissance art the lord was dark skinned melanated so i'm gonna go to google And put in Arab account of the Khazar not Kaiser <laughs> K H A Z A R Arab Khazar Wars so they took account so they know it says according to Arabic texts from the 10th century the Khazars and their rulers were Jewish but had only recently converted so we believe that these the same people of we believe the same people that today that came from uh, germany poland russia that claim to be uh, jewish we believe that they're of khazar khazar descent and the khazars we believe are edomites all right if you don't believe they're edomites you, you damn sure you can't uh believe that they're actually the israelites all right so we believe that they from Khazaria, they spread out well, all over the world mainly europe and they set up communities claiming to be jewish all right so that's the you can just put that in there and you can do extensive research and they had wars arab khazar wars etc all right now i went to the house of borgia and there's a, there were always there were rumors back then the borgia was a noble house with origins in the town of borgia or zarag zaragoza zaragoza Zirag, in the town in the in the crown of Ar, argon oregon during this time there were numerous unsubstantiated claims that the family was originally jewish descent of Jewish descent and were pretending to be pious Roman Catholics so, so that always been around and we do believe yes we believe that they were really converts from the Khazar Empire which many many of the uh, the uh, Caucasian or pale flesh people uh, in Europe were it spread out from the Khazarian Empire all right 
you look up prophecy, Ezekiel 36 and 5, Therefore thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen, and against all Idumia, which have appointed my land unto their possession, with the joy of all their heart, with despiteful minds, to cast it out for a prey. So that means it is a prophecy that the Edomites, so in case you don't know what Idumia means, this is a Greek way of saying Edom. Alright. Reading the Hebrew for you. Let me find it. We got the proper way to say Edom is Adawam. That's the only way you say Edom. You don't say Edom any other way. You say Adawam. And Edom means red. All right. Because when Esau was born, he had red uh, colored flesh because he didn't have any melanin. All right. Adawam. And the Greek. We got Idumion. Idumion. Right? Which means red. Referring to the people of the descendants of Esau. Alright, so that's the prophecy. Alright, this is why we, we say the 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 so called Jays are really the Edomites. Alright, Chesedir Borgia. The Arabs accounts of the Khazars and they converted so before before the uh, say 10th century before that all the Israelites that were scattered amongst well you still had before that you had John Hycranus John Hycranus had uh, converted the um, a lot of the Khazars, not Khazars, the Edomites. Let me get the the uh, antiquity of, of the uh, Israelites, antiquity of the Jews, by Flavius Josephus, and he he makes an account that the Edomite he forced the Edomites to convert to uh, keep the laws and circumcise their children. All right, so you didn't just have Khazars or Edomites that were converted during the time of the Khazarian Empire. You are before that. You already had Caucasian pale flesh people going around saying that they were the uh, the Israelites or the Jews. All right, so you had two time periods, at least two time periods. I'm sure you had more, but these are the two accounts that I have record of. All right. So let me pull that up. So you can go to uh, archive.org and put in Antiquity of the Jews or Antiquity of the Jews antiquity of the jews archive.org and then it'll, it'll come up and then give you the option to download the pdf you just click on to it let me show you just click it and then click the little download button all right and i downloaded it and let's see all right chapter nine i have it highlighted already Chapter 9, how after the death of Antiochus, Hycranius made expedition against Syria and made league with the Romans concerning the death of the king Demetrius in Alexander. All right, this is uh, Hycranius took also Dora and Marissa. This is the, uh, the cities, cities of Idumea or cities of Edom and subdued all the Idumeans and permitted them to stay in that country if they would circumcise their genitals and make use of the laws of the Jews and they were so desirous of the living in the country of their forefathers that they submitted to the use of circumcision and the rest of the, the Jewish ways of living at which meaning keep the laws circumcise the children celebrate the high holy days which he was going off when he did that but this is for a reason all right so they could hide and further uh no put the biblical Israelites to shame this is all the curses that the Lord said was going to come upon us. That he's going to remove us off from being a nation. Now we're labeled as Hamites and Africans. 
and all the, uh, the Jewish ways of living, at which time, therefore, this befell them, that they were hereafter no other than Jews. So that means they were for, so they, that mean they, they technically replaced the real Israelites because the, the real Israelites were going to go into captivity. All right, they were going to flee from Roman, Roman persecution and, f, and flee into every direction on the earth during the time of around 70 AD. All right, and then so you had during the time of the Lord, you had you know pale flesh Caucasian like Edomites going around believing that they were the of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob during the Lord's time. Because this, this event happened before the Lord, Yahweh Shai, came on the earth. All right, so you always had that idea going out there. That's why when the Lord came on the scene, he set uh, a few things straight when he said, uh, we know what we worship for salvation is of the Israelites. All right. And then, you know, the, the apostles went over about Esau, that he's uh, the man of sin. And you cannot convert. And I, well, on, on earth, you can convert. You can, uh, of the flesh, but of the spirit, you can't. Because the Lord, Yahweh Shai, the, the power Yahweh, he does not accept a fleshly conversion all right because the seed the, the children of the promise are counted for the seed not your conversion so you have to be biologically an israelite on your father's side all right so that's the uh the account here it's just labeled as chapter nine when you download the pdf you can just put control well you can just scroll down to chapter nine Or you can put control F or control G and put uh, in Hycranus took also and that'll come up. This this section here will come up, chapter nine. Chapter eight. So they, it's pretty straightforward. Here is some big chapters. Control. If I train this took, that's what I'll put in. All right. Second, second uh, search. So that that's so that's the account of the the Edomites converting to keeping the laws. All right, and it says here. That they submitted to the use of circumcision and the rest of the Jewish ways of living. All right? I mean, di dietary laws, high holy days, all right? They had to keep, you know, to a point. There's an account of how the Jews. The Israelites looked now Acts 13 and 1 and there were at the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called Niger and Lucius of Crying and Manaen which had brought up which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul and the Herod I believe he was on his mother's side was a was a, a Levite all right which your nationality is according to your father so Herod was more than likely uh, dark skinned. All right, even though his seed, when you look up Herod, is the seed of Esau. All right, so so I looked that up real quick. I believe it. It just it shows you. It's, it's you only got go through. You don't have to go through a bunch of different uh, rabbit holes to find it. I think it's just pretty straightforward. Herod, but his mother was a. Uh, one of his ancestors on his mother's side was a part of the Hasmonean dynasty, which was the Maccabees. Yeah, it even tells you right there. Uh, his name of the royal family that flourished among the Jews in the times of 
the Lord and the apostles, Herod the Great, the son of Antipater of Idumea. All right. So the Edomites were not destroyed during the Jewish Roman Wars. They converted to, to keeping the laws. Nowhere does it say that they were destroyed in a, the, the Jewish or Israelite, the Israelite Roman Wars. They converted and they kept the laws. That doesn't mean that they're going to be delivered or saved because they, they converted on the, with the flesh. Meaning they just did acts of righteousness, which they were like keeping the laws. Those are acts of righteousness. All right. But their seed is not of the children of the promise. All right. It says, um, hence he destroyed the entire royal family of the Hasmoneans, put to death many of the Jews that opposed his government and proceeded to kill even his dearly beloved wife, Maramine, of the Hasmonean line. All right. So, that right there, that's how we know he was uh he was darker skinned. He didn't look like a a, a typical pale flesh person of uh what one of the Romans. Alright, or the Macedonian Greeks, which the Macedonians were not Greeks, okay? The Macedonians were not Greeks. When Alexander came into power, he put Macedonians in positions of authority. They were not the same bloodline. All right. He actually feared the uh, putting Greeks in certain positions when you do the research. He put Macedonians and he repopulated areas. All right, this is all history you can look into, and I've done videos on that, on repopulating, uh, repopulating the uh, lands he conquered with Macedonians and Greeks. All right, two distinct peoples. Greeks compiled of you no know, the different Japhites and you had Israelites that were scattered amongst them. All right, like the Spartans. They that blood that the, the Spartans they were not originally Helen. Right, they were of the seed of Israel. Seed of uh, Jacob, the Spartans. Right, but they were considered uh Helen. Alright, so that's the little history on that. Alright. So you are your nationality according to your father. Alright. And this is an Israelite, a Levite, Mar Maramain, if I'm saying it right, a Levite of the uh, tribe of uh, Levi, the seed of Jacob. All right. So we know Herod was an Edomite. And we know that the Jews were dark skinned people. You look at uh, nigger. Well, we, we already know what that means. Nigger, nigger. Loosen up. You can say nigger and black. Surname for the prophet Simeon. All right, and you got Judites that they actually nicknamed them uh, themselves Black. All right, you got rappers I think they name name Black. All right, we can go to let's go to Daniel ten five and six. Yeah, and they they still trying to figure out what are, what's the meaning when it, when the scriptures call the Lord black. What what are they what do they mean? They don't ten five. <laughs> That's a so called white man. He's trying to figure he's trying to figure out why 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 they're called why the, why is the Lord called black? They're trying to figure it out the the meaning of the icons. Then lifted I up my eyes and behold. Let me go to ten six. His body also was like the burl. We that's green. And his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like the color of polished brass. And that's the point there. And his voice like the sound of a multitude. Copper bronze. All right. Bronze. Brass. So look up. Uh, Let's look up bronze. I'll put in the color of bronze. All right. Point here is, you know, it's not it's not pale flesh. All right. Color of bronze. And then we look up. Burnish. 
or polish 7044 we have qualal which means burnish and look up burnish polished radiant flash and glycerin did I ask for the thesaurus or I don't think I maybe I did Alright, Satan. <laughs> I didn't ask for the Thoris, what it's giving me. It's converting me to the Thoris. Alright, it didn't have the uh, ED on the end, the uh, burnished, so it was porting me to the synonym. So burnish, make smooth, bright, glow, smooth, bright, gloss, burnished means to, to darken, to polish, equivalent to brun, brown. So when the Lord, I hope you can see that, origin, Middle English, Anglo-French, Middle French, to darken, brown. He said, his body is also, also like the burrow and his face has the appearance of lightning and his eyes as lamps of fire and his arms and his feet like the color of polished brass. So with dark brown brass. And the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. Alright. Neither because they are the children of Abraham are they all children. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is they which are. This is Romans 9 and 7 and 8. On down. That is they which are children of the flesh. These are not the children of Yahweh. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. So it's because you can, you keep laws and circumcise yourselves and your children does not mean you're you're the children of the promise. For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come and Sarah shall have a son. All right. And not only this, but Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil. That the purpose of the power might according purpose of the of the power according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. So it doesn't matter if the uh the Israelite according to the seed does not do the work, meaning keep the laws or have faith. All right. He's gonna be delivered because it's according to it's the seed, election. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So he's reinforcing these uh, prophecies and accounts. But what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the power? How forbid, for he saith unto Moses, I will have mercy in whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. All right. So we know that the seed of Israel, the children of Israel, are going to be deliberate. And we can go up to Romans 9. That will get you the account in Genesis 25, 19, 23. Let me say here. 9 and 4 who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the power and the promises 
who are the fathers, the seed, okay? And of whom, as concerning the flesh, Mashiach came, who is over all, Yahweh bless forever. Amen. All right, so. Let's look up that word. Solicitude. Characterized by showing interest or concern. Solicitude. Concern for Israel. All right. So why would the why would Paul be talking to pale flesh Romans? That's that's what you know, the world believes that they are, right? And for the main, the main part, the ones that were in power were they were pale pale flesh. Uh, Caucasians, Edomites. All right. Why would Paul be uh, writing a whole sermon about the uh, about the Israelites? All right, because these Romans were Israelites. All right, this was writ a letter written to the church that was in Rome. All right, these were Israelites in Rome. And we can go to Romans one. Paul, a servant of Yahweh Shammashiach, called to be an apostle, separated into the gospel of power. Right, concerning his son, Yahweh Shammashiach, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. Right. To all that be in Rome, beloved of the power, called to, to be saints, grace, who, who are the saints? Saints of the Israelites. Grace to you and peace from Yahweh our Father and the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And when you go down with this piece about the barbarians and the Greeks, those are the Israelites scattered am amongst the nations. This proves that you got to keep the laws. <laughs> you go down here. You, you, obviously, we can't keep them perfectly. All right. Amongst Great Millstone, that's what we teach. We teach that you cannot keep the laws perfectly, this is, which is a fact. All right, because righteousness came by the law, then Yahweh Shai died in vain. All right, it says because if you're a homosexual, it tells you here in Romans first chapter that you cannot, you're not going to enter into the kingdom. Who changed the truth of the power into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever? Amen. All right, the creature is a thing created, the idol. For this cause, the power gave them up to vile affection. For even their women to change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lusts one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was met. And even as they did not like to retain the power and their knowledge, the power gave them over to a reprobate mind to those to do those things which are not convenient. All right. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of the power, despite full proud boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents without understanding. Without understanding, or anybody can just be saved. You can do anything you want. A covenant breakers without natural affections, implacable, unmerciful, knowing who knowing the judgment of the power, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. This is NLT, although they know Yahweh's righteous decree that those who do such things deserve death they not only continue to do these very things but also approve of those who practice them all right and that was everything of four red including homosexuality so and the church approves of those acts so they approve of those acts they, they can't be the uh, they can't have the truth. All right. Let me 
me end up with this scripture. All right, and he's and John five and sixteen proves that you have to keep certain laws. You can't be a homosexual. You can't be an idolater or worship money, love money. You can't be uh, continue to be a whore or an adulterer. It's to put off those things. All right. Yeah, it's not of works, but if you are the of the seed of the righteous, the elect, the Lord is going to give you a certain amount of work to do, especially if you're a prophet. If you're of the 144,000, you got a lot of work to do. All right. First John 5 and 16. If you see any brother or sister, we had something called the Acts of the Apostles. <laughs> All right. Literally the Acts of the Apostles. But then you have the, uh, it's an idea out there. Oh, we don't believe in works. We don't believe in works. Like, be specific, please. All right. Because works are acts. You have a book called the Acts of the Apostles. Miracles were done. Brothers went out on uh, envoys and, and ha hazarded their lives doing work. If you see any brother or sister commit a sin that does not lead to death, You should pray to the God, to Yahweh. You should pray and the power will give him life. I refer to those who sins, sin does not lead to death. There is a sin that leads to death. I am not saying that you should pray about that. All right. So if committing transgressions of the law wasn't, wasn't important anymore, or you can just do whatever you want. John wouldn't have made this statement. There is a sin that leads to death. I am not saying that you should pray about it. So you're supposed to you know, correct your, your brother or sister. All right. This is NIV. This is NLT. First one was NIV. This is NLT. It, uh, five, first John 5 16 if you see a Christian brother or sister sinning in a way that does not lead to death uh, you should pray and Yahweh will give that person life but there is a sin that leads to death I am not saying you should pray for those who commit it all right let's go to First John 3 and 4, whosoever committeth sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. You look up transgresseth. Transgresseth. Poya. Execute. Let's go to uh, anomia. Condition of being without law. Condition of being without the law. Violation of the laws. Wickedness. All right, so you get the point. All right. Transgression of the law. All right. So, we went through a few things. We believe the uh, House of Borgia are the descendants of the converts of the Khazarian Empire to the, the Jewish religion or the Israelite religion to be more correct which they corrupted that they didn't keep it the, the proper way and I'm sure you had to have a real Israelite that was amongst them that had to teach them you know, to do this do that and before that you had John Hycranus that converted the Edomites into keeping the uh, the laws and circumcising their children. All right, and antiquity, the antiquity of the Jews, Flavius Josephus, chapter nine. Icranus took also Dora and Mar Marissa, cities of Idumea, and subdued all the Idumeans and permitted them to stay in that country if they would circumcise their genitals 
and make use of the laws of the Jews and they were so desirous of living in the country of their forefathers that they submitted to the, the use of circumcision and of the rest of the Jewish ways of living at which time therefore this befell them that they were uh, hereafter no other than Jews so they basically fit right in all right but these were pale flesh Edomites so you have people going around that are really of the seed of Esau which we believe a large majority of them are in the land of Israel now claiming to be Jewish Israelis and they're all over Europe all over America spread throughout the world with that same uh, notion that they believe that they are the the uh, Israelites which it tells you I read the prophecy that the in the last days the Edomites were going to have control of the land that was in uh, was Ezekiel 36 and 5 so according to prophecy the Edomites have to ha have the uh, the land of Israel for the main part in the last days and the prophecy of our return is going to be supernatural okay not going to be by the Rothschilds the British and American government it's going to be supernatural it tells you that uh, New Jerusalem came down from heaven as a, a bride adorned for a husband Going to the rest of 36, it tells you that Jerusalem's uh, the land of Israel is going to be built back up. So therefore, it says, Lord, I have lifted up my eye, and surely the heathen that are round about you, they shall bear their shame. But ye mountains of Israel, ye shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruit to my people Israel, for they are at hand to come. All right. And they aren't there yet. Because we've been exiled out the land. So this is the future prophecy. So Israel is going to be removed from the land of Israel and they were going to return by supernatural means, not by Rothschild. Which that's Rothschild is not even Israel, uh, Hebrew. <laughs> for behold, I am for you and I will turn unto you and ye shall be tilled and sown. And I will multiply men upon you. This is Ezekiel 36 and 10. All the house of Israel, even all of it, all 12 tribes and the waste cities shall be inhabited and the waste shall be built all right and i will multiply upon you man and beast and they shall increase and bring fruit and i will settle are they settled are those people that claim to be uh israelites are they settled no they're a constant war and i will settle you and after your old estates, after your old estates, and will do better unto you than at your beginnings, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. I can close the book right there. Settle you as in your old estates. So, well, we had peace. And that's what the kingdom is about. This is the kingdom. This is not talking about a hundred years, then the kingdom going to come. No, this is, this is the kingdom. Ezekiel 36 is referring to the kingdom. All right. And we'll do better than you at your beginning. So that means all the best parts that we had in the past, before we were exiled of out of the land of Israel, it's going to be better than that. It's going to be better than the garden, better than, than the, the peace we had at the end of David and throughout Solomon's reign. All right. And all the great feasts we had amongst the uh, Israelites. It's going to be better than that. Yeah, I will cause men to walk upon you, even my people Israel, and they shall possess thee. And thou shalt be their inheritance, and thou shalt no more henceforth bereave them of men. Deprive. Meaning, we're not going to be exiled from the land anymore. All right. Thus saith the Lord. Uh, Yahweh, because they say unto you, Thou land devours up men and has bereaved thy nations, therefore thou shalt devour men no more, neither bereave thy nations any more, saith Yah Lord Yahweh. 
Neither will I cause men to hear in thee the shame of the heathen any more, neither shalt thou bear the reproach of the people any more, neither shalt thou cause thy nations to fall any more, saith yet. So wait a minute, the heathen are still in the land of, of Israel. So they're not fitting prophecy. Neither will I cause men to hear in thee the shame of the heathen any more, neither shalt thou bear the reproach of the people. Yeah. All right, and this is the hey, I was scattered, I was scattered them among the heathen, and I would disperse them throughout the nations according to their ways and according to their doings. I would judge them. All right, so this is a, Ezekiel 36 chapter is a heavy chapter. It speaks about the, the Edomites taking the land, the, the kingdom, Israel being built back up, and the heathen not uh, dwelling there in any uh having any power in, a, in the uh, kingdom alright and the Lord just said he was going to remove Israel from the land son of man when the house of Israel dwelled in their own land they defiled it by it uh, defiled it by their own way and by their doings their way was before me as an uncleanliness of a removed woman. Alright. I mean a minstrel. Therefore I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land and for their idols wherewith they had polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathen that they were despised throughout their countries according to their ways and according to their doings. I judged them. Alright. And when they entered into the the heathen whether they went they profaned my holy name when they said to them these are the people of Yahweh and are gone forth out of the land but I had pity All right. then the Lord speaks about uh, bringing us back for his name's sake so he will sprinkle clean water upon us All right. put a new spirit in us they have a, a, a beach a nude beach one of the biggest sodomite parades in the land. Of the, uh, this is a joke. If you think those people are the, are the biblical Israelites, that's a that's a real joke. All right, one of the biggest sodomite uh, parades are, is in the land of Israel right now. So they cannot be the biblical Israelites because it's prophesied that they, the Lord was going to clean the Israelites up when they go back to the land. They can't. The land. The reason why the Israelites are not in the land, for the main part, you have a scattering. You now you have some people that. Uh, came that went back to the land of Israel but the government is it's impossible for the majority of people to be the biblical Israelites in the land right now they would have to be of uh, the seed of Esau according to prophecy and not of the seed of Israel but you have Israelites scattered amongst all nations so you would have to have a certain percentage there all right, so it's, it's clear you just go over Ezekiel 36 and, and, and fit it with the the land today it, they can't be the people because they are still breaking the laws they are still into idolatry all right and i will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and shall keep my judgments and do them like the israeli government is a secular government they're not a religious government even though they, they invoke certain you know prophecies and passages in the scriptures but they're not they're not religious they work well they, they are behind the scenes they worship satan but they don't claim to be like a uh a state governed by the laws of the bible okay the laws of the torah and, and their leader is a perfect example of them not keeping the laws so they don't fit the prophecies all right so i'll leave that there a lot of information here. So I right, hope you edify. Shalom.